Hey guys, I'm just giving you another update. Um, I, I guess I'll do this uh, every Wednesday from now on for as long as I'm bringing dad to radiation. Uh, there you can see the uh, the cancer center right over there where I dropped dad off. Uh, I'm just sitting out in the car for a couple of minutes before I head on in, mostly because it's more comfortable sitting in my car than it is sitting in that stupid waiting room. But uh, I just wanted to give you guys an update, let you know what's going on. Um, I just uploaded my uh, my update from last week yesterday, so yeah, talk about waiting the last minute, right? But um, I also uploaded a video from the Detroit Lions versus San Francisco 49ers uh, game that uh, Dave and I went to on uh, Sunday, October 16th. I think I even put the date in the title for that video. Uh, anyway, check that out. Let me know what you think of that. Um, it's just some clips I got from uh, you know from my video camera during the game. Nothing really big, no big deal, you know. Just something cool, it's just so you can see what I saw from what I from where I was sitting uh, behind the end zone. I was actually very impressed, and wow, there's a car like mine, but much newer. Whoop! There it goes right there. That, it just that out of view. But anyway. Uh, uh. Dave and I had fun at that game no matter what. I mean, it's even though the Lions lost to the 49ers for their, you know, first of what was to become two consecutive losses, hey, you know what? The Lions are still doing very good in my opinion. They're 5-2 and two this season, which is better than they've done in a long time. They haven't done that good in several years. And both losses, they, just, they didn't lose by more than a touchdown. So, I mean, they haven't gotten blown out at all. Uh, you know, and uh, it was like it was with last season. They, la they won the last four, I believe, maybe five games of the season. They won all of their preseason games. And then they won the first five games of this season. So that's, what, 14 consecutive wins? For the Lions, that is damn impressive. That is really good for them. So I'm I'm interested to see the, how the rest of this season is going to play out for them. I mean, the fact that they've won the first five games in a row tells you that they're doing better this season than they have in quite a long time. Uh, I'm not losing hope. You know, a lot of people are saying, you know, especially you know the naysayers, the you know the uh, this the critics and all them. They're saying, well, you know, the Detroit Lions are going to fall apart just like they do every year. How do you know that for sure? This could be their year. They might actually have a decent shot in the playoffs this year. If it turns out they don't, maybe they'll get right back into it next year. Who knows? We don't know. So far, so good. And there's somebody walking up next to me, next to the car there. I don't know if you can see them or not. Well, anyway. Because unfortunately, I'm using my little pocket camera that uh, doesn't have the screens in the back. So. I'm just watching people as they walk by, but um, I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, Dad seems to be doing okay with his uh, radiation and his chemotherapy so far. The only problem is his hair is starting to fall out now, so he actually buzzed his hair last night. <laughs> it, keeps, it keeps it from falling out uh, anymore, and it grows back a little faster doing it that way, I guess. I, I don't know. but. I got the sun starting to come up over the building. Ah, there we go. All right, and um, I got some other videos I have planned for the future. I really, I have some Matchbox and you know, ten packs and some Matchbox and Hot Wheels five packs. I'm thinking about doing an opening video for those. And I have a surprise coming in the mail that, uh, well, only one person watching this is probably you, Mitch. You already know. But the, for those of you who don't know, just uh, in upcoming videos, uh, you'll see what I have, uh, what I ordered, and what I'm getting. Because I'm going to open them in a video for you guys. And uh, that way you get to see them. It's going to be that's going to be pretty good. And I plan on sharing the this uh, what I'm getting, so it'll be well. I'm planning on sharing them with my brother and with Mitch. So that's why you're probably the only two people that are be interested in even seeing this video. And by the way, uh, uh, let's see what else was I gonna do? 
I'm thinking about doing a, a series of videos on my, uh, I have a 118th scale diecast car collection for those who don't know, for the four or five of you that are actually watching this video other than Mitch. Uh, I'm planning on doing a series of videos on them too. I, it's something for the future. I'd, I'm not you know, definitely going to do it yet. I don't know how I'm going to do it or when or uh, you know, anything like that yet. But uh, I'd really like to do that, you know, just to showcase, you know, some of the, you know, so especially some of the better cars in my collection. Some of the more rare cars that I was happy to find, uh, especially some of the cars that are more valuable now. I mean, I've had some of my cars, I st well, I started collecting them when I was 15, and that was in 1993, so that was 18 years ago. So I've had my oldest cars for 18 years. And from what I've heard, a couple of them are really worth a lot of money. So, I, I never plan on selling my collection. Not all, not the more valuable ones anyway. I might, st I, I might start selling off some of my less valuable ones that I don't really care to have anymore. But I, I don't know yet. We'll see about that. Um, but uh, well, I'm gonna head on inside and uh, well. I'll talk to you guys later. I'll have more updates soon, but um, I'll let you guys know when I uh, got something else planned. So I'll uh, talk to you guys later, and uh, hope everybody's doing well. See ya.